strokes are the leading cause of long-term disability in the U.S., and 95% of survivors struggle to regain movement in their arms. But now there's a new invention that is actually helping people to rehab at home. Dr. Jay Adlersberg is here with more. Jay? Shade, Diana, this is a story about a new gadget that can help stroke victims even years after the stroke. Some patients think improvement at that point isn't possible. But here's one woman who used the new device and proved them wrong. Painting for me is an expression of how I'm feeling at the moment. Tour Sherry Schreffler's art collection, and you would think her days are filled with sunshine and roses. Most of my paintings are happy because I am happy. I have hope. But since her stroke three years ago, this eternal optimist has had to work harder to find a silver lining. It's a torture to live in a body that doesn't cooperate. It really is like a little private prison. Her entire left side was paralyzed. She relearned how to walk, but her arm was fixed in this position. Sherry spent more than a year in physical and occupational therapy. She tried hypnosis, acupuncture, and exercise. None of it helped her arm, and it all left her in pain. This low-tech contraption is the brainchild of researchers Sandy McComb Waller and Jill Whithall. They worked for more than a decade to prove people can recover years after a stroke. It's exciting to find that there is now an option for people who thought they were counted out. It's called tailwind. The arms move independently, so a weak arm cannot depend on a functioning arm. The repetition reworks pathways in the part of the brain that controls motor skills. We encourage both arms use because... There's a sort of neurofunctional coupling between the arms. After two months, Sherry can raise her arm. I could never have done that, never, not even close. Bringing this artist back to a happier and more hopeful place. A study found that two-thirds of patients who were at least six months post-stroke regained some arm movement after using the device for six weeks. The cost of this rehabilitation aid is presently not covered by insurance.